my God, babe, Game of Thrones is on tonight. It's the series finale. Khaleesi is marrying Jack Sparrow. Oh God, that show has really gone off the rails. Look, it makes sense if you've read the books. Oh, oh my God, Ben, we're about to die. Good Lord. Oh my, the robots have come for us. I made fun of you when you said it would happen, but your novel has come true. Hey, Leslie Nope. please enjoy this free gift, courtesy of Grizzle. Okay, so they also have a squadron of flying robots giving presents to everyone. Later! We're screwed. And then I said, uh, you might want to check with the penguin. <laughs> I get it. You grizzle guys are a real hoot. Mm. And you have so much money. Thanks, Jesse. And hey, enjoy that new prototype grizzle tablet, huh? I will. I just love it. Thank you, Jessica. I love you, too. I love your skin. Give me your skin. Oh. There's still a couple bugs with the AI software, but uh, maybe just turn it off before you go to sleep. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, Leslie, you on the TV. Well, you're on mine, Brett. We're having a video conference. Oh, OK. Pawnee has been hit with the avian flu. Ty. No, this is bad news. I need everyone there at Animal Control to eradicate all the infected birds in town. Kill all birds. This is for the drill, right? Yes. But I'm actually going to kill these birds for real. No. No, just pretend. Right. So how do I kill them? Like with a gun? No. I can fill up a bathtub and just drown them one at a time? OK, let's forget we ever talked. Got it. Kill them. OK, casualty update. Only four dead, two of whom were already gravely ill and brothers. That family took a terrible hit. Well, that's great news. Not so fast. I regret to inform you that someone in this room has begun exhibiting symptoms. Christopher Traeger. What? A few months ago, the thought of an infectious disease, even hypothetical, would have sent me careening towards Bummerville. But now, I am infected with the killer virus. And I feel fine. Therapy! This is highly irregular. We have followed protocol to the letter. No, you did not. Unfortunately, no one contacted the transit department to shut down bus service. So, you rode a bus with a contagious man, and he infected you and 39 others. That is impossible. I do not ride the bus. I ride my bicycle behind the bus as a windbreak. Doesn't matter. Prepare for the diarrhea. OK, who was supposed to deal with transit? My bad, guys. That's my bad. Chris, very sorry. Damn it, Jam. Should have had animal control kill you. Oh, who you want me to kill? No one. I'll kill him as soon as I'm done with these birds. No, I need to talk to you. What's up? I know I technically work for Grizzle, but these fools have crossed a line. Have you gotten one of these Grizzle boxes? Well, yeah, but I haven't opened it yet. I was planning on sending it back after I wrote a sternly worded letter about how I cannot be bought with free gifts. These are my free gifts. Two honey bears and a canister of sugar plums. Honey bear and sugar plum are the special names Joe and I call each other. Aww. Yeah, we're adorable. But this is creepy, because we only call each other these things on the phone or in texts. How do they even know? Leslie, open that box they sent you. Ooh, Joe Biden's book, Biden the Rails, a thousand and one poems inspired by my travels through Amtrak's Northeast Corridor. A thousand? <gasps> A poster of the Supreme Court justices sipping the friend's milkshake? This stuff is perfect for me. Yeah, exactly. They must be data mining, searching our texts and emails and gathering profiles on all of us. This is a huge invasion of privacy, not to mention illegal. When they installed the free Wi-Fi in town, I made sure that there was language preventing this. I never would have agreed to work with them if I had known they were going to be snooping in my biz. Grizzle is going down. You want to put me on blast? I'm gonna put you on Front Street. I don't understand what that means, but I think I get the context, and I love it. Oh my God, it's an envelope from the IOW Awards office. Nobody freak out. Do you know what this means? I am Pawnee's Woman of the Year. The IOW is the Indiana Organization of Women. I have been a dues-paying member since I was nine, and every year they choose one woman to win the Dorothy Everton Smythe Female Empowerment Award. Winning is every girl's dream. But it's my destiny and my dream. Can you read it, please? Where are my ladies at? Here we go. The IOW is proud to announce this year's Dorothy Everton Smythe Female Empowerment Award winner, Ronald Swanson. Aha, uh -huh. okay, pretty funny. <laughs> Says Ronald Swanson. What? No, 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 it does. I, that, no, that, what? They, they only honor women, and Ron's the opposite of a woman. What's going on? 
You're um, Pawnee's Woman of the Year, it looks like. Well, it's about time. <laughs> no, no, no. They've obviously made some sort of mistake. Bully for me. Congratulations, Ryan. Yeah, congratulations. It's very exciting. It's awesome. Louise. Oh, what did I do wrong now? No, actually, we at the IOW loved what you said in your speech. Really? But what we loved even more was how you, Ben, gave Leslie a platform in which to speak her mind. Congratulations, Ben Wyatt. You are this year's IOW Woman of the Year. Son of a bitch. Hello, everyone. We are here today to discuss Grizzle and whether or not they are invading our privacy. They sent my husband three boxes of genital cream to his office. My husband's splotchy genitals are no one's business except for his, mine, and his many genital doctors. They sent me a bunch of toy pigs dressed like movie stars. That's my private hobby. No one knows I collect toy pigs dressed like movie stars, except now all of you people. Which one is that? Uh, this is actually Hamuel L. Jackson from the movie Pork Fiction. It's extremely rare, and I am keeping it. But still, they have no right to give me something I will treasure the rest of my life. I opened my box in front of all my friends, and it was a bunch of Virginia Woolf novels. Now Miley and Haley know I like to read. What if they tell Evan? I like their phones, but they've gone too far sending this stuff to our houses. Grizzle has no right to search our private data. So wait, you guys are not against us on this? We're not against you on this. We're not against you on this. We're not against you on this. We need an interim mayor just for two months. And given your family name and how well liked you are, I thought you might be interested. What, mayor? Yeah. Man, that would be fun. God, I don't think I can do it, though. Yeah, because I'm getting ready to go on a big trip to space. <laughs> That'll be really fun, too. Everything in life is always just so fun, right? It really is. See, yeah. this guy knows what's what. Yeah. What's that? Hey, Ben, have you ever been to space? You should check it out. Seriously. I'm sure the Russian guys who built the rocket would be cool with it. Really? Just one thing. Do you have $600,000? It's just that's what they need for a deposit. Oh. Well, no. I've already been to space. I was the second person to walk on the moon. Buzz Aldrin, nice to meet you. Nice try. <laughs> that's the guy from Toy Story. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. I, Chris Traeger, after several sustained hours of diarrhea, combined with violent coughing and a devastating fever, followed by even more diarrhea, have succumbed to the avian flu. I'm dead. OK, this is Grizzle Vibe. It's this new app that we're developing that monitors your mood. Tell them about it. As you know, the cameras on your phones are always on, whether you're using them or not. I'm sorry, they are? This app uses facial recognition software to track your expressions. It's always watching. Well, what do you do with this information? Well, if the camera senses that you're in a bad mood, then we could geomatch you to, say, the nearest cup of sweet pick-me-up Java. But if you're in a good mood, then we could geo-nudge you to, like, a sweet coffee shop. You could just keep the good times rolling. So it's really just a coffee sales app? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're developing with Starbucks. Yeah. We need to talk. What is that? This is a flying robot I just shot out of the sky after it delivered a package to my house. I thought you didn't like to pass judgment on this. The package was addressed to my son, who is four years old and does not own a grizzled doodad. Somehow the robots looked at Diane's computer and learned something about my child and then brought him a box of presents. So I destroyed the robot. <laughs> no one is safe from these bastards. Tell me what to do, Leslie. I want to help you take them down. So, uh, Roscoe, how does Grizzle know all the things that someone wants? Are you guys, I don't know, whatever, like data mining? Oh, hells yeah, dog man. Our super rad algorithm searches all your texts, calls, banking, medical records, blah, 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 to learn what you really want. And from snacks to new books and movies to when you ladies need to score some new pawns. I mean, we might know you better than you know yourself, Leslie. How did you know it was me? Oh, it was about 40 different ways. I mean, geo maps and all your different grizzle devices, and of course, we face scanned you when you came in. We're really glad you're here. OK, good. Just because just we're competing for the Newport land doesn't mean that we can't be friends. Oh. Isn't that your motto? Wouldn't it be tight if everyone was chill to each other? Totes. 
And I hope that you can see now that there's nothing scary about Grizzle. I mean, we just want to learn everything about everyone and track them wherever they go and anticipate what they're about to do. Who cares about some dumb grandpa on his tin ball? That's the past. Grizzle is the future. The new Portland will become the Midwest headquarters of America's most dynamic technology company. Here to introduce our vision is Annabelle Porter from Bloosh and the sexy ladies known in Pawnee as the Somebody's Daughter Dancers. Fresh, innovative, placemaking, disposable duvets, growth hacking, super moon, grizzle. Now come with me as we binge watch the future.